first of all, I really want to thank the media for coming. And I really want to thank Bobaro for whatever he's been doing for me. He made me a champion. I will never ever forget in my life. And I want to thank uh, Mr. Todd and the team. Congratulations, Joshua. Just curious, uh, first of all, the end of the fight, there was a little confusion. Uh, did you feel like there was a headbutt at the end, or did you feel there was a punch? No, it wasn't a headbutt, because uh, 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 last round when I was in the corner, Manchuna Manch Manch told me I'm playing with the fight. I should wake up and do something. So I said, oh, you know what, I'm going all out. So I threw a right hand to his face, and I saw the cut, and he was like this. He was doing that, and he was hiding, and I started throwing the punch. It wasn't a headbutt. But what I've been happy is and I won't decision. I want to thank everybody. And the other thing I want to ask you is it seemed like your uh, lead right hand was connecting very frequently throughout the fight. Was that something that you had worked on in training camp or was that a strategy you came into with? Yeah, you know, uh, it's a south pole and the south pole right go with them. So uh, in training camp I was learning how to throw a lot of right and a sharp one. So when I threw the first time I saw that oh, we can't even do anything about it. So I started throwing it. Right Next Robert. question. Uh, two things. Congratulations. First of all, when it went to the cards, were you confident? Well, it was a very tough fight. So I thought any, any, anybody in but I know that the read right is winning me the fight and I did the referee told me the point. So I know that it could come out with but the reason why I was fighting is it's not a head pass. And the, uh, the second thing, um, you talked about settling a score from four years ago, the gym in Brooklyn. Um, does this cover that for you, or was the ending a little unsatisfying? It's very clear, very obvious that we settled the score. He pushed my trainer here. I pushed him out of the ring. Because he said he pushed me out of the gym. I pushed him out of the ring. I'm very happy about it, because it's a certain score. He scored it. Next question. Once again, congratulations, Thank champ. Uh, in the early rounds, we were fighting Zab, and uh, he was a little bit more energetic, and of course, uh, using this combination. Did you at any particular point feel like, was he real strong? Did, he, did you feel anything, his power or anything like that? Did it affect you in any way? Well, his power never affects me in, in, in anything, because I really, he really hit me with the upper court. A, a, a left upper court and really gets me but I never feel anything because I feel really hard for this fight. Thank you. I, Todd doesn't want to say this, so I'll ask you, do you want to fight Margarito next and is that kind of your goal now that you have a title to meet Antonio and unify? You know the promoters are the one who can answer that question. They know what they're going to do and I'm very appreciative of whatever they're doing and they know what they're going to do for me. If, if, you know, at this stage of your career, you're two years, you know, more experienced than you were when you fought Antonio last time, do you think you would uh, have a different outcome had, if you fought him this time compared to what it was last time? Well, if, if, if I fight Antonio Margarita now, it would be a different story. Because I was winning the fight in a good head. And if I fight him today, it would be very, very, very nice and tough fight. Did you speak to him after the fight given he was here? Well, I, I just greet him. I respect him a lot because, you know, uh, it, it's like people don't, people don't really believe him. But he did what he has to do the last week. So I really uh, uh, said, oh, thank you, Margarita. Uh, congratulations. Uh, and of course, too, uh, you went in this bout in the ninth <coughs> round, and it was a 12th round bout. Do you feel that the, the decision would have been the same if you had went to the 12th round and you would have won victorious for the title? I know I'm going to stop him because I know he can't show whatever or whatever he's doing, he can't do it to France. Because it gets to a time I realize that he's getting tired. So I know I have to push for it more. I have to push for it. But I know definitely that I'll stop him. That's all. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, it was over here that you said that you would grant him a rematch. Is that, are you interested in getting that due to rematch based on this performance? Whatever the promoter said, I really accept it. Bob, what is your thought? I mean, I think, I, I think for all of us in the boxing world right now, I think we should look at what Joshua just did this weekend. I think we should look what Antonio did last weekend. Because we get obsessed with someone losing a fight. 
and, we, and people cancel contracts and says, oh, you can't win, you know, you, you lost and you're no longer on the network or you can't get a date. You know, Antonio lost almost a year ago to Paul Williams. He lost two years ago, December 06, if I'm correct, to Antonio Margarito. And now look where they are. And that is what this sport is about. Guys in the ring, giving it their all, having great performances, and let the matches get made. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I can co come up with some of the machinations that's going to happen, but this is a vacant title. So I assume, based on the rules of the IBF, if that's what happens, they, they have to fight a leading available contender when there's a vacant title. I have no idea. I'm just, you ask me what's next. And at that point, when we decide what's going to happen, I think we'll all sit down and evaluate those. Well, Josh, if you had to give up your belt that you just wanted to fight Margarito for his belt, would you do it? If still pro is, I say yes. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean let's, let's, let's evaluate this, Kevin. This, this just happened. I mean, Margarito and Cintron both fought each other, and the winner was to fight Kogo. And there was a mandatory to fight Joshua. Right, but in Atlantic City that night, all Bob talked about was them fighting Kogo. I mean, so... You know, I mean, it was... So what we're saying is, is the fighters are going to make the fights. The people out there are going to make the fights. You know, we're not going to, you know, it's not going to be the organizations determining it. It should be the people. And the people determined the success last weekend because that was a very successful fight, and so was this one this weekend. Joshua, we spoke at the press conference last week about Zab maybe resorting to some dirty tactics. I, I don't have to tell you, he did. You said that you would reciprocate, but it seemed to me that you, you held your pool, uh, cool pretty well. Can you speak about that? I mean, come and give me the question. Said, the low blows. How you responded to Zab's dirty tactics. He said you said some of dirty tactics. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, um, I, I, I saw that he was hitting my, my down and this thing, but you know, I don't want to do it because there is referee out there. If I do it, it's going to waste the whole thing. So I said, let me leave that to the referee. And the referee is just in a point. That means the referee is doing whatever he's doing. Did you feel like you recuperated well enough in the time he gave you? Were you okay? Yeah, 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 I'm okay. You know, he hit me. When he hit me, I'm strong. I train really very hard for this fight. I mean, six weeks in Pocono's. I run and I do everything, so I'm strong for this fight. Thank you. Anybody else? Just, just, I'm not sure if Zab's coming, but I, I just found this out. I don't know if you know this. He has a, um, the doctor said, a torn bicep in the fifth round. Really? What, what, is that correct? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, 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 oh Josh. So, so I, I, I had heard that um, they said he tore his bicep, I, and I, that's why I just asked him if that was true. I think um, that's something, uh, that's a very amazing performance if he just I, I, tore a bicep. And, that was uh, um, round, round four. When I when I, I, I go to the head, I go to the body, and I feel the pain. So I, the muscle is there, it's, it's, it's big now. It's coming up. Not to make the 12 week injury of surgery, no? I, listen, I'm not a doctor. I think the best thing, I mean, I think, I mean, listen, I mean, it's like, I got 90 days to negotiate with the IBF too, right? So I have no idea what, what it is. So I think he, he's going to go get it evaluated and we'll see where it goes. Um, I think, uh, and if there's any questions, uh, Luis Barragon from HBO is here about, uh, he can talk about uh, the telecast. Or